Hello. In this quick demonstration, I will show you how you can copy the data from your SQL database into Couchbase in a minute. So for this, uh, I will use a MySQL database. So let's connect to MySQL. Uh, use the world sample database and show the tables of this schema. So I have different tables, for example I have country, so with these different columns. So the idea is to copy all the data that I have in this table, for example select count country and import them inside coach base mo moving from a simple record into a JSON document. So for this I have created a small tool that you can download from uh, GitHub. So just go here, click on the jar file here that you will download a small utility. And this utility just use a property file to say where do you connect, where do you import the stuff, and what are the options. So let's uh, create this uh, import file. So I am in uh, this folder where I have the jar file that is importer itself, another jar file that is the MySQL connector, and I will use imp property, create a new file. And this file will say on which database I have to connect. Let me get uh, the IP address. Um, so I connect to the world database using this uh, username and password connect to this cluster, for example, if I want to create a new bucket list called world. Let's check if I have it in my database. I don't have it, so let's create the world bucket. So far, I have a single node, so let's create it. So I have the world uh, cluster, the world bucket in my cluster. I want to import all the tables, I want to create the views, uh, do I want to add some information about uh, field? So I no need to add a, a field like a type field in my uh, JSON document. I don't want to change uh, the, the case of my attributes. So it's done. I s I'm saving the file. So now I can just add to run the command. And this command, I will just run it in the location where I have my, my, my jar file and select the good file. So I have, I add the jar file to my class pass, run the SQL importer command with a property file. This copy as a city, copy the country, country the language and create views. So you are done. So let's see now inside my cluster what I have. So if I refresh, I have a 5000 record. If I go to documents, you see we have created for each um, record uh, a document that contains all the columns with the different uh, attributes. In addition to that, uh, I have the system also create views that allow you to query the system. One of the views with all that allow you to query by the index, by the type of the value and the other count. So for example, if I want to crop that, I will have all the country number, the country and the number of country. And I will be able to uh, see the list of countries this way. For example, if I want to do um, reduce equals false and key equal country will give me the key to all the country. So here I can go to a specific country. Here. So I have queries for uh, views for querying the different uh, type, but also for each type, it creates uh, a specific uh, view with, for example here, if we look at the country, um, the country language contains the country language and the different attributes of the primary key country code language as part of the index. So in a few minutes with a single command, you are able to copy all the data as a JSON document inside your cluster. So you can start to build your uh, application.